Uh, we're looking at three storms this morning. Plus, yeah. we got to keep an eye on our, our own storms here in the afternoon. Yeah. We're, we're safe. That's okay, the good, good news. Florida is looking okay. We do have three storms. Tropical Storm Chris, this is the one that was 94. That just made landfall as of 5 o'clock this morning. So that's moving into Mexico. Don't need to worry about that. There's Burl right here moving in that direction. And then there's Invest 96L that has a 70% chance of developing. But I don't think it's anything like Burl. So that's the good news. You can see basically all the cloud covers now be continuing to move in with heavy rainfall in Tampico, Mexico, places like that. But here we go. This is Granada right there. I think they take a bigger hit. Tobago as well. There is a hurricane warning for Tobago. I think that's going to be one of the hardest hit spots of all as this comes through. Winds are now at 120 miles per hour. It's moving to the west, nor well, the west around 20 miles per hour. But look, it's forecast to go to Cat 4. 130 later today. It already did that yesterday. And then it weakened a little bit with some eye roll replacement cycles. We've never had a cat four in the month of June in the Atlantic basin until yesterday. That's a testament to that hot water that we've been talking about that record warm water. Now it does weaken a little bit as it comes across the Caribbean this week. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday night landfall into the Yucatan. But as a cat, too, it will brush Jamaica, it will brush Grand Cayman. The highest winds are right around the center, so Barbados is going to get some wind today. But it looks like it will be the heaviest weather down to the south of them. And these are the forecast models generally taken into the Yucatan Peninsula. Some take the remnants off to the north and the west. The forecast for 96, which is this wave behind it, is similar, at least in track, keeping it generally down to the south. But what's happening is there's cold water, cooler water at least, behind Burl. Burl's blowing that warm water at the top away. Cooler water comes up. It's called uh, basically cooling. And that is going to give it less energy. So I'm not too worried about the second one either. But boy, this is, well now July 1st, this type of weather we're seeing in those locations should be late August and September.